Здравствуй, это Сахар. И сегодня я предлагаю вам расслабиться. Ведь мы собираемся послушать все оставшиеся аудиозаписи. Это будут и песни, и интервью, и просто какие-то истории из жизни соседей, которые еще больше раскроют наших любимых персонажей. А еще к этому времени я пришла к теории, что Волли... Синявка. Это подтверждается очень многим. Он постоянно смотрит в одну точку. Он желтый, у него уже проблемы с желудком от количества всякой вот, не знаю, никотина, алкоголя в организме. Он не знает, что происходит, он постоянно спрашивает, ты знаешь, кто я? А почему я тебя не вижу? Он вообще не понимает, что происходит. Поэтому для того, чтобы посмеяться вместе со мной, просто представляйте пьяного в стиле Уолли, когда будете слышать его реплики. Я уверена, вам станет гораздо веселее, потому что я всю эту историю вижу теперь только так. Поэтому готовьтесь быстрее читать. Приятного просмотра! Well, uh, I don't 
haven't even got a joke for this one. That was impressive, Ed. Uh, you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just, just Pete, you want to be. Thanks for asking. <laughs> well, I still say it's only just passable. I bet I can do it better. Barnaby, get over here. I bet I can lift you over my head. Yeah, all right. No, 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 no. I'm ending this right now. Ooh, let's go see if Eddie can lift Poppy and Howdy next. We can take home for the big finish. Not if I can lift them first. Well, I know what I'm doing with the rest of my day. Come on, little buddy. Let's catch this show. Eddie's going to lift up home? That's the most. We can go to Howdy's together, and home can pick up his own hot dog. Yeah, y'all can go ahead, huh? I'll catch up. You always did work too hard. Huh? I'm going inside. Enjoy the crowns, Mr. Deer. All righty. Say, uh, before you go, any chance I can get a hand in a... Oh, you're gone. That's fine. I'll uh, get to pick myself up before the cows come home. <laughs> uh. Sound like you have a lot going on in that neighborhood. And that, uh... Welcome home. Yes, yes. All oh, that beautiful world. Welcome home. Oh, since the show's really taken off, Wally, I'd say you're uh, quite the popular character now. I am? You are. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're quite a little charmer, too, from what I heard. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Hey, that's exactly it. Is that why they call you Wally Darling? They call me Wally Darling because that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. You know, you're very beloved by a lot of different people now. Do you find yourself in any sort of romances lately, hmm? Romance? Yes. A love life? Being so popular at all. Oh, no. I don't know. I love everyone. I love my friends. Oh, Oh, well, that's right. You've got a lot of friends in that neighborhood. In fact, I think you said you brought one in for us to meet. Is that right? Yes, it's my best friend. He's my neighbor, too. His name is Barnaby, Barnaby. B. Beagle. <laughs> hey, who, how, what, hello. How are you doing, Rick? Barnaby B. Beagle. Mr. Beagle, a pleasure to have you here. Hey, enough with the formalities. Beagle is my mother's name. Just call me Barn. Oh, is that right? She was a dog, too? Oh, no, no. She's a chicken. You might have heard of her. She's a real famous lady. She crossed the road once. She crossed the road. What for? To get to the other side. They're still <laughs> talking about it to this very day. <laughs> well, oh, to this very day. Wally, you certainly live amongst a colorful array of characters. It's no wonder you've come into stardom recently. So how are you two handling the attention? I've been destined for show business since I was just a puppy. Who wants a couple more eyes to the well-known comedian like me? As long as they're not throwing tomatoes at me, it sounds like a walk in the park. I tell you, we got a neighbor who's got an arm like a professional baseball player. Not easy. Oh, <laughs> well, I've ducked a few tomatoes in my own time. Uh, it sounds like a handful, Pon. What about you, Wally? What do you think of all this newfound fame? I think it's just the most. <laughs> Where is it? 
<laughs> Let's see now. Right over left, under and through, fold on this side, down, up and around, pass it through and pull. There. A perfectly tied croquet tie. Frank! Frank! Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Julie. Come on in. Frank, we're almost ready to start hula hoop bowling bracket. I know, Julie. So, wait. Bowling? You can't just keep putting bowling in other games, Julie. Remember bowling basketball? I sure do. You got mad because Barnaby kept winning. Well, now I have to change. What? Why? Because now I'm in the wrong bow tie. You're in your bowling dress. I can't show up in my croquet bow tie. Oh, does that really matter? Of course it matters. It just wouldn't be right. It's like, uh, well, take our games, for example. It wouldn't be fun if there weren't rules, right? Uh, it could be. No, no, no. Remember what happened when you tried playing hopscotch to the max? I do. It took us an hour to get you down off Howdy's roof, and we still don't know where the green chalk went. I still won. So you say, but it wasn't fun for me. Oh, that's true. You were pretty grumpy, even though you did help me get all the leaves out of my hair. Exactly. I like it when there's rules. I, I like knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I like it when things are organized or done right. When things are so... when they're just... Uh, just... Just... so... Yes! Just so! <laughs> the way I tie my bow tie, just so. Oh! I know how to tie the loop around and exactly how to pull. Or like the way you keep your garden all in rows. Yes! That way I always know where each plant will grow. I think I get it now. You just like everything neat and tidy and sure and careful and organized in a row, like a bow, just so! Right, <laughs> sort of. So if you'll give me a moment, I can find the right bow tie, and... Uh -oh. I'll get it! Hi, Molly, come on in! Hi, Julie. Hi, Frank. Home wanted to know if it can play croquet, too. <gasps> of course! Well, I don't see why not. Oh, swell. It, is there <clears throat> something else, Wally? No. Oh, Wally, we were just talking about how Frank likes things just so. Just so? What's that mean? like to understand. Oh, not you two. It's just, well, uh, think of a box of crayons. Okay. The colors go a certain way. Do they? They do after Frank steals the box when you're not looking. Julie! <laughs> Maybe you should go get the game set up at home's front yard. Oh, good idea! I have to move the croquet hoops and tell Sally we're moving the opening ceremony. Thank you, Julie. Oops. You're not using hula hoops, are you? My brain! Julie, you know that's our regulation. <laughs> Bye, Julie. I don't mind that you reorder my crayon. My point is, it's like a rainbow. Like how the colors in a rainbow go. Oh. I like it best when red goes in front of the rest. And the colors all stay inside the lines. When each and every hue, from orange, yellow, green, and blue. And purple. Right! Sometimes things have an order that their context demands. And everybody loves the way I wear boots on my hands. Barnaby, what are you? It's not even raining. Why are you wearing those? Hey, croquet, the one where you ride horses? I'm the horse. No, that's Polo. Marco. Oh, 
Why are you here? Came to get Wally. Hi, Barnaby. Hiya, Wally. We're singing a song, Barnaby. Hey, I know one of those. No? When all you got is your fleas, when you're down on your knees, that's a dog's day. Ain't that the way? Out. Aw, I wanted to learn the colors. Wally, I think you already know the colors. I could hear them again. Yeah, Frank, which one's orange again? Am I orange? Out? Now I'll never know. Aren't you coming to play croquet with everyone? I would already be ready if everyone would leave me be so I could finish getting dressed. Now, don't take this the wrong way from the dog who don't wear pants, but what's missing? My bow tie. <gasps> Wally, don't look. He's indecent. Out. <laughs> Bye, Frank. <sighs> howdy do, howdy Billy here. Oh no, howdy not now. Come in. Howdy do, fellas. What can I get for you two today? Hiya, howdy. Uh, I think we're gonna enjoy ourselves the usual. My usual for my usuals? Come on right up, Pally! The usual? I thought we were getting hot dogs. That is our usual, little buddy. It means something you and me get all the time. Kind of like a morning perusal. Oh, you mean our walk? Yeah, but I like perusal better. Makes me feel like a fancy high-class pooch. A pedigree with some degrees, if you will. Oh. Alrighty, I got a bloodhound and whirlwind of trouble and an old reliable dog. So, what's the gap today, Bon? Well, I got a good one that's been brewing in this bottom of mine all oh. day. <clears throat> what do you call a caterpillar after a month-long nap? A butterfly. But if you ask me, I call the poor guy a doctor. <laughs> That's a hoot, a holly even. You always never disappoint. Hmm. Say, Wally, what about you? You got any silly yarns for me today? No, but I have a joke. <laughs> what did I tell you? He's a natural. That was just a taste. Go on, kid. Okay. How does Barnaby eat his hot dog? I don't know. How? He relishes it. He sure does. Boy. Y'all getting the hang of this funny business, Walls. It won't be long before you're the one paid for these hot dogs. That's okay. I like when Barnaby buys them. It's like I said, Howdy. We're a couple of usuals who know what we like. Frank, Frank, Frank! Oh, Frank, won't you play a game with me? Oh, Julie, good morning. No, I, I can't right now. I'm watering my plants, see? Oh, I do see. Oh, I hear them, too. Gee, they sure have a lot to say. Uh, what? My soul and Lyco? What are they saying to you? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Hold on just a second, Frank. They're telling me right now. What? What? Mm -hmm. what? Uh-huh. Oh. What? I, oh. Uh, oh. 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 I see. Oh, you don't say. Well, well what, what did they say? Well, your tomatoes think you have a very lovely eco tie today. They do? I... The, <laughs> Thank you. What else are they saying? Well, they also think your marigolds could be a little merrier. But I wouldn't say that in front of your flowers. I'm sorry. I'll see what I can do. They also had one last thing to say. They think that you've done such a good job gardening that you should go play jump rope with Julie to celebrate. <sighs> Oh, Julie, you were fibbing about the tomatoes telling me all that, weren't you? Oh, no, 
prank. I was telling the truth. Honest. Your miracles really are very, very rude. Mail call. I got mail here for Miss Partridge. I'll be taking that. Uh, uh, pardon me for asking, but... You're pardoned. Uh, well, I could have sworn this was Poppy's bar. I might have made a wrong turn at that game of hopscotch outside of Julie's house. Those games always get me turned around. Of course this is her barn mailman. But she just so happens to have her feathers full at the moment. Uh, oh, <laughs> hello, dearie. I'm right here. At least, I, I think I am. Oh, goodness, it's hard to see past all this yarn. Oh, darling, what has she got you wearing? Can't you see she is a beautiful beanstalk? The perfect outfit for the star of my next play. Oh, yes, I forgot to ask what this role is for. It was a bit sprung on me. It is for Jack and the beanstalk, obviously. But I have taken some artistic liberties, of course. I call this rendition... Wait for it. Sally and the Beanstalk. Oh, boy. Uh, so, Sally and the Beanstalk is a little like that story about that fella who traded some cows for a couple of beans. The same beans that eventually grow into a giant beanstalk he decides to climb up. Yes. Climb? And then he runs into that big, mean old giant at the top. The very same who chases Jack all the way down to the bottom. Oh, yes, yes. Giant. And when Jack gets to the bottom, doesn't he cut down the beanstalk with a big axe? Yes, yes, that's exactly it. But it will be yours truly as the one with the big axe instead. Big axe? <laughs> oh, Poppy, don't worry. After some rehearsals, you will feel as strong and as sturdy as the role you were born to play. <смех> ну что ж, помогла вам моя теория? Знаю, она просто волшебна. Но, к сожалению, уже пора заканчивать. Увидимся с вами в следующей части. Вот.